A guy should always be investing in himself. This is rule number one, man one-on-one. -on -one. This is relationship talk one-on-one. -on -one. A man has to always be focused on himself first. I know this flies in the face of what Steve Harvey tells y'all. I know this flies in the face of what Derek Jackson tells y'all. A man should be 100% focused on what he's supposed to be doing and what best suits him first. He has to be invested in himself. He has to be 100% focused on being selfish and being great. He has to be 100% dedicated to what it is that his grind is. His focus should never be the woman. That is not his number one priority. His number one priority is self-fulfillment, self-investment, greatness, continuing to work on yourself and continuing to grow to be the best version of yourself. If he is not spending the majority of his time on a thing that works best for him, he is doing his family a disservice. Let me say it again. If he is not doing the thing that is in his own best interest, making as much money as he possibly can, working on his business, working on networking, and if she is not the one that's pushing him and saying, baby, you need to be connecting with this person or make sure that you're looking this good or make sure that you're taking care of things, make sure that you're on top of things. If she's not focused on that, then she's not even focused on herself because what you don't understand, and a lot of people got it backwards, they think that you need to be partners. And so he has to be focused on her and she needs to be focused on him. She can't give him what he need in order to be great as a man. She can't put him in a position of power. She is never going to put him in a position to where he can secure a huge bag as a result of something that she did that he's going to connect with in order to make sure that he continues to elevate. Now, we're not talking about no Beyonce's. We're not talking about the Cardi B's. We're talking about your ass. Not his ass. Not her ass. Not Boaz. Your ass. We're talking about you. Right? You will never, ever, for the overwhelming majority of y'all... You will never, ever be able to put a man in a position of power to, to, to where he can become the best version of himself or he can get the bag. You can encourage him. You can root for him. You can be in his corner. You can be his peace so that you're not stressing him out so that when he get up and go to work and he only getting three and four hours of sleep because he on his grind and his hustle that, you know, he go and get it. But you are never going to be in a position to put that man in a place to where he can get a super bag ever, 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 ever in life. And so the thing that he needs to do, especially early in a relationship, is go off to work. Is go off to take care of business. It's to grind. It's to build. A new marriage is only supposed to be blissful for the honeymoon phase. And then he's supposed to be getting out there and grinding. And, and you're not even supposed to be seeing that much of him every single day. I don't care what they tell you. I don't care what these Instagram stories are saying. I don't care what the TikToks are saying. These people that's projecting themselves to be awesome, awesome is arguing after they get off the camera. How do I know? Because it's a lot of them that I be coaching, right? They don't know what it takes in order to be great. And so he needs to be out. He needs to be getting busy. He needs to be taking care of business. He needs to be working. He don't need to be sitting up under you at all. It's no reason in the world why this man should be sitting up under you when he's supposed to be on his grind and building as a man. His first five to 10 years of being in a relationship with you should 100% be dedicated to building himself up. Now, how does that affect you? Where do you come into place, right, as a woman? Well, the best version of him is the best version of you because you're largely going to be the recipient and you're going to be the biggest beneficiary of his greatness, right? When he's rich, who do you think is going to be doing the majority of the shopping? If you're there shooting in the gym with him and if you hold him down during the times in which he ain't necessarily trying to spend a whole lot of money on you, taking you to Ruth Chris, but instead he decided to reinvest back into his business. Who do you think is the person that's going to be the beneficiary as a result of it? Right. You as a mother, your biggest concern is your kids. And what do you want for your kids? The opportunity to have the greatest future possible. And who do you think is going to be the beneficiary of that? The child. You and the child are going to be the beneficiaries of what his greatness is. You are a reflection of him. He ain't going to leave you behind. I ain't never seen a man in my entire life, and I know a lot of guys that get to the bag. I ain't never seen a man that becomes uber successful or rich 
and then his wife is over there looking like a dusty dusty. It just does not happen. She is usually the one that's sitting in front row with him at the game. She is the one that's riding shotgun, or more often than not, she often is the one that's driving the majority of the luxury cars that they got because he's too busy out grinding, getting it. He ain't even got time to be thinking about them luxury cars. The only thing he want to do is have that great stuff when he get there at his convenience, and you should be serving him up every piece of sauce that he wants as a result of his greatness. The woman is largely the beneficiary of it, so why would you try to hold him back? I cannot understand, not even a little bit, how women often at times will have a conversation and then they say stuff like, but he don't spend no time with me. He ain't supposed to be spending no time with you. He on his grind. Listen to this comment right here. She says, why do we, why we have to hold him down? Why can't he build himself before he get married? Okay, so let's have that conversation. What use does he have for you if you haven't added any value into his life before he gets to the finish line? What value do, why, why would he marry you? I often at times advocate that marriage is for young people that's building early. If I'm already a ready-made, rich, awesome man before you even come to the table, then what use do I have for you? What incentive do I have to marry you? What incentive do I, what do I need from you and what value do you truly add into my life as a person that I would be looking to marry? Why do I need you? Just curious. Why do I need you? If you ain't holding me down and you had to wait and you, and chances are, let's be real, chances are you out there fucking and sucking and taking a whole load as a result of it. If you didn't hold me down and you wasn't a part of the vision and shooting in the gym with me or at least passing me the basketball so I can get as many shots up as quickly as possible, then what need do I have for you as a ready-made, already rich man, self-made, when you're waiting for me at the finish line? Just curious. Just curious. Why, why would I come back to you after you didn't did anything that you wanted to do? We know you ain't no virgin, Right. We know you ain't holding nobody down. We know that you are scarred and you bringing in all of the trauma from your past relationships. We know that you can't unsee all of the different dudes that you didn't already been with. And so you're bringing that into the relationship. So I'm not even grooming you. The whole idea of being called a groom at your wedding is because you should be being passed from person to person. Your father, he covers you until you get to your husband. Once you get to your husband, you then submit to him. What purpose would he have for you, especially in modern times where women through feminism has advocated for equal? What is it that you then bring to the table that would then substantiate that this man should take you serious as a possible bride or wife? 